Hello there, everyone. How you doing today? I hope you're all well. Today we'll be reading some more Entitled Parent stories from r slash Entitled Parents. If you enjoy, please like and subscribe. And maybe leave a comment of what subreddits I should go through next. And let's get started. Entitled Mother Almost Kills Me at her wedding because allergies are not real. So this is a story my mom always used to tell me, seeing as it happened way back when I was two years old. At the time, I had two allergies, peanuts and tree nuts. When I was younger, I also had eggs and wheat. My mom had a work friend, entitled Mom, who was getting married and invited pretty much everyone that worked at her office. And by invited, I mean told everyone to come. And also to bring gifts upward of $200. What the heck? So my mom asked Entitled Mom if the food at the wedding was not free. Which Entitled Mom said yes. Or was it? Entitled Mom, ever since my mom has known her, Entitled Mom has always thought that allergies was just kids being picky. No matter how much evidence you would put up, she just wouldn't take it. She often said that if those kids need EpiPens just because they're so picky, why doesn't my son, she's been divorced obviously, have it when he eats broccoli? Not even lying, she said this. So because of this, my parents were skeptical and of course brought two EpiPens to the wedding. At the time, everyone was snacking and eating the food. I decided to eat a tiny bit of the cake, which Entitled Mom specifically said was not free again to my parents. So I took a small bite, and what do you know? Within seconds, hives begin popping up all over me, and I start absolutely wailing seeing as I'm now having trouble breathing, and of course, Entitled Mom walks up to us as my mom is rushing to get my EpiPen out and put it into me, and says in the most triumphant tone, Ha! See? He's just picky. That's all. I had to put some peanuts in that cake just to show you. And of course, as the ambulance is arriving, she says, Stop! Stop! He's a picky child! If he needs to go to the hospital for being picky, then take my son as well! I kid you not, if this couldn't get any more ridiculous, Entitled Mom lunges, lunges towards the paramedics and attempts to literally take me away from them. This was a futile attempt, as every other person at the wedding ending, ended up pinning her down and gave me back to the paramedics. And off I went to the hospital, my parents in tow. Here's the best part. Entitled mom was then, when she tried to get back to the wedding and continue it, was left at the altar. Who wouldn't leave her? As well, she was fired from her job once the boss heard about the incident. Sweet, sweet karma. That's all I have for today. I have a ton of other stories on a similar topic, but I just had to post this first one. Update. Last night my fam and I were talking about this incident, and so when my mom looked the lady up on Facebook, we found out that she works at the nearby McDonald's. Anyone say I go check in on EM? <laughs> Ah, yes. Feel free to check in on EM. Entitled parents of a schoolmate called the fire department. Sorry if the formatting is weird. It's my first time ever posting on Reddit. About 15 years ago, I was living in my hometown and was in 8th grade at the time, I believe. Anyways, I lived in a nice neighborhood. Not fancy or anything, just a random neighborhood in a small town. But I thought it was great. So on my block consisted of like 16 houses. A few homes had kids I went to school with. One of them, let's call them David, lived three houses behind me on the same block. Now, I didn't really like him, nor did I dislike him. We just didn't talk much, but his mom, whoo, 
his mom was a very nosy and talkative person. Walk by their house and she sees you, but doesn't know you. She starts asking what you're doing around there. Yeah, that type of Karen. Now, before I tell you the main event, keep in mind, at the time, my dad was on the fire department. We knew all about fire safety and regulations, etc. Better than most because of that. Anyway, one evening, my parents have some friends over in the backyard. We had a fire pit we used occasionally, so we're all situated back there, having a fire. Now, this is something we've done a few times before, and we lived there for about half a decade at this point, so this wasn't anything new, and perfectly illegal by the way. So we're all having the fire, having fun by the fire, hanging out, all's going well. Eventually at some point, I thought I'd seen David's mom, aka Karen, standing in the street and looking at us. I ignored it, cause whatever, what do you do about it? About 20 or 30 minutes later, the fire department is in front of our house. They showed up because someone had called 911 and complained about a burning smell coming in through their window. Now, I don't fault the fire department. They had to show up with the information they had. For all they knew, a house could be on fire and people needed help. So my dad talks to them, getting it all sorted out. And then the police came by just to check on things. Now, everything as I said was legal, but with the burn laws in my hometown, you couldn't burn past a certain time if people complained about it. Before that time, you can burn all you want, regardless if someone complained, and the times would change depending on the time of year, holidays, etc. I know it's weird, but considering we lived in the middle of a bunch of crop fields, closest town that actually had grocery stores was 15 to 20 minute drive away. And a brush fire was a very real possibility. So because of the time and the one complaint, the fire department had to put out our small fire in our fire pit. Now, I wouldn't connect a Karen to it, except for the fact I saw her again while the fire department was there, standing in the road again, in her pajama pants, nightgown, and bathrobe. Very classy, I know with a smirk on her face, and turned around and walked back to her house after they put out the fire. So, this classmate's Karen of a mom was so entitled that she called the fire department on us because she didn't want to smell burning wood. Huh. Well, that fucking sucks. Entitled mom wants her kids on spring break. Gets told no. Chaos ensues. I'm gonna be honest, didn't think I would post this story. But it's been a while since this happened, but I guess it's okay now. Background. My mom was horrible in every way. She didn't even take care of us. She didn't have her own house. She lives in my mom's and my grandmother's house. Made my dad do everything for us. She would just sit in her bed all day and smoke. Fast forward a couple years later, my dad has a new girlfriend, and my mom was mad. And I mean mad. She never really showed it, but she would talk about her behind her back, and would always tell me and my sister to tell her everything she did. Now, to the story. It's spring break, and my mom wanted us to stay with her all of spring break. My dad said no because he wanted to spend time with us. And my mom threw a hissy fit, saying stuff like, You don't want me to see my kids. And you want my kids to not love me. And other things that I didn't hear. My dad went ballistic on her, saying various things that might get me banned from the subreddit if I repeated. So, after this was over, my mother came to the conclusion that my dad and his girlfriend were abusing me and my sister. So, what did she do tomorrow? Call the damn police twice! I don't remember what they said the first time, but the second time she went to the police station near where we lived. We never told her our address, by the way, and filed a report saying that me and my sister were quote-unquote sad and depressed. 
Obviously, my dad talked to the police, basically saying it was BS, and we would never abuse our kids. Fun fact, my sister was the only one on the report because she knows I don't like her at all, but my sister does. The police did talk with her, but we don't know what happened between them and my mom, so that will always be a mystery. Now fast forward two days, and now she has resorted to gaslighting my sister to the ground. She didn't even dare call me. Everything she said was BS, until she said the most baffling words. I can't remember all of it, but at the end of the sentence said, Because I know you're being emotionally abused there. My dad went berserk. He snatched my sister's phone and starts arguing with her for half the day. And while this is happening, my sister started crying. And this pissed me off because no one hurts my sister like that. But all this fighting made me cry too. Now what do you think she did next? A. Stop all of this fighting. B. Apologize to everyone. Or C. Stop being a big a-hole and live with the fact my dad wanted his kinks for spring break. Wrong! All, all of the above are wrong. Because she proceeded to harass my dad's mom, threatening her. My dad, who was drained at this point, was like, alright, we're taking her to court. So he got in contact with my mom's mom and her sisters, and they all sided with my dad. My grandma, mom's side, even kicked her out of the house. So, court day came, and I don't know what happened there. And my dad didn't tell me, but we did. he did tell me some great news. He did win, and he has now his full custody of me and my sister. Fast forward to now, everyone in my family and my mom's side has cut contact with her. And she just went off the grid, not telling anyone where she went. Reminds me of my mom. And for our last story of the day, we got, That's correct, I'm not obligated to give you my things. I work front desk, night audit, at a hotel. I get entitled people day in and day out, but sometimes, certain interactions just rub you the wrong way. Tonight was one of those nights. I'm in the office, doing work off to the side, and up walks this woman. Nothing strange about her. She just asked for an iPhone charger. I told her we didn't keep them around property, and she peered around the corner where my phone was charging in our little office area. You don't have a charger, really? Me. Well, yes, that's my personal one. Woman, looking at me expectantly. And and it's not the hotel's, it's mine, I said. The woman then said, And you just can't let me use it. I said, No, it's my personal one from my own home. Okay, and you're really not going to give it to me? I said, No, ma'am. And then the woman responded with, Are you serious? You're not going to give it to me? And then I responded with, No, I'm not exactly obligated to give you my personal things. Like I said, it isn't the hotel. It's, it's my own. Are you serious? Not obligated. Seriously. I responded with, Sorry, it's just something I'm not going to do. And then every time this woman passed by the desk, she huffed and puffed, not obligated, not obligated, like a crazy person. It hasn't even been 20 minutes and it happened twice. Honestly, why are people so unhinged? Would she give me something of hers just because? And why get bent so out of shape because of it? Update, she doesn't have her charger because she left it in the car after the police impounded it. And she was talking to the poor, poor 20-something-year-old boys in the lobby, trying to chill about me. And the good sports were making eye contact with me and laughing while she went on and on about how much of a B-word I was, with me at the desk a few feet behind her. What a... 
bitch. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe, it helps the channel a lot. See you next time.